We are on day 21 of our magic workout challenge. And today we're going to think about magnific magnificent, magnificent, that's fine, magnificent outcomes. All right, let me explain the workout first. So we're going to be doing this alongside of Artrox. Um, you guys know that we've been doing full body during this entire challenge. So now we're going to get the back side of our body, lower back, um, which is super important. All right, so basically you guys are just laying on your tummy. You're going to lift your heels and then you're going to lift your chest. But it's going to be kind of like a rocking chair. So heels, chest, heels, chest. You can keep your arms straight. That's going to be harder. You can bring your hands right here if you need a little bit of support. And whenever that starts to hurt your lower back a little bit, just switch and just do little leg lifts right here. Okay. So that you can um, give your back a break and you can just kind of push up slightly to get that same motion. So make sure you're careful with your back. It's a very important part of your body, um, but this is a great thing to strengthen up. All right, so let's just talk about magnificent outcomes. And I wanted to read this piece to you, all right? When you are grateful for magnific magnificent outcomes, you are using universal law and changing hopes and chance into faith and certainty, okay? Changing hopes and chance into faith and certainty. And um, what this is basically is thinking about like sometimes whether situations go wrong or right in your life, right? Like, like something occurs, you, um, you miss, you miss the bus, right? Right. You, you left five minutes later than you wanted to, um, your kid. Okay. Here's a good example. We were, we were going to go see the fall leaves. Like I have this all planned out, right? I got the boys all decked out. They look super cute. Um, we jump in the car. We're driving South. We're going to go over to the mountains. We're going to check out the fall leaves. And I'm like finishing up a call with the client. And I look back and Quincy literally barfs all over himself. I'm like, it just doesn't smell good. You guys know, right? Like, Oh, right. This is not the best situation. Immediately. My body thinks of magnificent outcomes. I'm not upset about the barf. I'm not upset at him by any means. I'm not upset that we're not going to see the fall leaves. Um, I am literally just like, okay, universe, we weren't supposed to go to the mountains today for a reason. This is a magnificent outcome. It turned us right around. We went home, we cleaned up, we got to take a nice bath. Um, Quincy felt better after that. We drove around the little areas right here in the neighborhood and saw yellow, orange, and red trees right in our home, like, own neck of the woods. But I thought about it as a magnificent outcome because there was some sort of reason why I wasn't supposed to go there. Right. And right when I, when you, when you shift your, um, your perception of a situation that's maybe not going exactly how you want it to, all of a sudden you have more confidence and excitement because you know this occurred for a reason and it's a good thing, okay? The other thing could be uh, magnificent outcomes that you want to occur in your life. Like maybe, maybe you're not in the best marriage right now. Good job, Whitson, thank you. Um, and you're trying to figure out your next move. And that's really hard. And it's really wearing and tearing on you. But you think about the magnificent outcome, like you actually plant yourself 10 years from now where you could be. Maybe it's about your health, right? And you're like, damn it, Cal, like I really want to get this 50 pounds off. But you think about, wow, look, at, I'm, I'm going to see myself next year at Christmas, right? And I'm going to see myself with a 50 pounds off and that magnificent outcome of how beautiful it's going to be. So it could be in the face of adversity, um, challenges arising, like, you know, like the roadblock coming at you, magnificent outcome, or it could just be you thinking about something that's currently not going exactly as you want, but shifting your focus instead of having hope and belief, having absolute conviction that it's going to happen. That will change the results. You guys conviction of a magnificent outcome of something good, right? Occurring because of this is so huge. All right, you guys, let me just show you it and John right at this moment, because I think this kid is so dang cute. Say hi guys. Say, say good morning, sunshines. You guys, that's our practice for today, day 21. Thank you for joining us on this adventure and love you so much. Make sure you like the video, share with us anything below after you do your practice. Hopefully your booty and your back sore just a little bit tomorrow and um, subscribe to my station. All right, bye.